Hey, art friends, today we're drawing a bird that we saw when we visited Hawaii on our vacation. Mm -hmm. It was one of our favorites because it looks so cool. What's it called? A red crested cardinal. Yeah, it's a cardinal, but not the whole body is red, mm -hmm. just the head. And it has gray wings and also a white body. It's one it of looks our... super cool. Yeah, it's super cool. So we hope you're going to follow along with us. We're going to take it one step at a time. And we're using our markers, but you can use whatever you have at home or in the classroom. You also need some paper and something to color with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yes. Let's first start by drawing our cardinal's eye. We're going to draw it right here. And maybe we can kind of draw a cartoon by drawing a little bit bigger than normal. And then I'm going to draw a little highlight inside and then color in the rest of the eye. So we'd leave that little highlight white so the eyes are shiny. Then let's draw the beak. I'm going to draw a sideways letter V. He's screaming. <laughs> it kind of does look <laughs> like the mouth is open. And we're going to draw the middle line. We're going to start here and we're going to curve down. We don't want to make it too long, but it's a little curve at the end, but not a hook. Yeah. And then we can draw the top coming down and connecting. And then we're going to start here and we can draw the bottom of the beak coming in. So we've got this triangle shape with a line going through the middle. Now let's draw the crested part or the head. We're going to start here on the beak and we're going to draw a curve that comes up like this. And we're going to, I love these birds so much. They got the crazy hair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a mohawk. A mohawk, yeah, spiky hair. Then we can draw a little zigzag coming back down. And we'll stop right here behind the eyeball. And then we can draw the front and also the belly. So first let's draw the bottom of the head coming back a little. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that cute? Yeah. <laughs> and then we're going to draw the belly coming down or the neck coming down and then into the belly. So we'll just curve like this for the rest of the body. Wow, it's so cute. And you could even come back a little bit further if you want. Yeah. Okay, now let's draw the back of our bird's head. We'll come down like this. And then we can also go into the back of the wing and also the body. And I'm going to come down so it gets really close right here. Yeah, <laughs> that's <laughs> awesome. I like yours kind of looks like a baby bird. Baby it's really bird. cute. And we saw a couple baby birds too. I think <laughs> the baby ones though, they didn't have really bright red. It was almost more brown, but I we could still draw it red. <laughs> this is really cute. Now let's draw the wing and we can also draw this wing connecting into the gray part or the gray shape on our bird. So I'm going to start here on the back of the head and we're going to draw a little zigzag line that comes down and then we're going to curve in for the wing, the bottom of the wing, and we're going to Watch this, we're gonna even keep going for the tail. Yes, and then right here on the tail, we'll connect this in like that for a little point. Whoops, I made a little extra at the bottom. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, and then right here, I'm gonna add a little zigzag to connect into the tail. And right here, I'm gonna add, watch this, I'm gonna add an extra little line that comes back like that and then connects in. We did it. There's the little tail a red crested cardinal. Oh, let's add more feathers for the wing. Right here, let's draw little uh, bumpy line or U's that are connected. I'm going to come up like this and then connect into the back. Yes, and then right here, I'm going to draw a really long letter U for a, a flight feather. And then right next to it, I'm going to draw another long U, but I'm only drawing part of it since it's behind the other one. So we're overlapping. And then let's keep going down and add that same pattern and texture all the way down and connect to the other side of the wing. Now let's add a little branch that our cardinal can sit on or stand on. We're going to start here. I'm going to draw the branch kind of a zigzag line like this and look how close I'm, I'm leaving a little space so that our kernel can have longer legs. There we go, all the way across. And then we can also make this branch a little thicker. I'm going to add another zigzag that matches and ooh, we could even add another little branch. Look at this. So I came down and then this branch can be or these lines can be kind of wobbly too to make the branch look more natural. But we could even add another branch right here. 
And you can really change your drawing any way you want. You can add leaves, you could add blossoms or more branches. You could add less branches. I think I'm gonna leave it just like this. Oh, I really like yours. Oh, and this part right here, you could curve it so that it looks like it's coming down yeah. off the page. Nice, now let's draw the legs. We're gonna draw two legs. I'm gonna draw one here and then one I'm gonna draw like this. And see how this one on the right side comes up into the body. This one stops at the body because it's behind the belly to make it look more 3D. Yeah, and then let's add an extra line next to it to make the legs a little thicker. Then we're gonna color in those legs, they're black. And then we're gonna add the little toes that go around the branch. So I'm gonna draw a little curve on each side, like this. And we can also draw little bumps on the other side. Let's see, I'm gonna add a little curve here too. And then we can add like that. So I added a little bump His down at the bottom. fingers are gonna be super long. Oh, that's okay. Then you don't have to wrap all the way around. You could just add a little spike right here and then come back. <laughs> that's perfect, I love it. And we did it. We finished drawing our little red crested cardinal, except we're not completely done. We still need to color them. Yes, my favorite. We are gonna fast forward, so remember to pause the video at the end and take time to color your drawings too. Before we fast forward, let's actually talk about the coloring because our red crested cardinal has special uh, pattern on its head and also its body. We're gonna start with our red, and this is number 11. If you have the same Art for Kids hub set, you can use the same color. But don't worry, if you don't have the same set, you can use something completely different, like crayons or colored pencils. Let's start by drawing a little line right here on our bird's neck. We're gonna start at the back of the head and we're gonna draw a little zigzag that comes down like this and into the belly or the bottom of the neck. They're so cool. I love that their head is the only thing that's red. Yeah. Now let's color in the head, solid red, and we'll do the next step. Now we're ready to color the rest of our drawing. We switch to our gray CG1 and we'll use this to color the top of the wing and also the whole wing and also the tail. You ready to fast forward? Yes. Hadley, we did it. We finished drawing and coloring our red crested cardinal. I especially love yours because it's a cute little baby. Look at that body. I just want to squish it. It's a strong baby. <laughs> strong baby. Strong baby legs. <laughs> now you can pause the video right now to match our same coloring. You can even add more things to your drawing just like us. We added an extra branch up here to fill in this space. And we also added leaves which I think the leaves look really cool. Yes, you can add other things like more birds. Oh yeah, you could also even draw a background. Oh, maybe there's a Hawaiian island off in the distance. Oh yeah. And one last thing we added was we used our CG1 or light gray to add a little shadow on the bottom of a bird just to make them look more 3D and round. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing a red crested cardinal. We do, we hope you had a lot of fun and we'll see you later our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.